Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of ectopic pregnancy. A young married female patient came with amenorrhea for more than two months. She also came with history of acute severe right lower abdominal pain. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the right adnexal region of the patient. The uterus was normal. When we are trying to evaluate the right adnexa, we have seen a complex area which might be an enlarged ovary as the right ovary was not separately visualized. However, we have found an anechoic cystic area here and we thought this might be the ectopic pregnancy as the patient was a suspected case. But unfortunately, we have found another cystic area with thick hyperechogenic margin within this lesion. So that's make a confusion. So we have shown here the both cystic areas in the same picture. You can see one cystic area is completely anechoic and another one shows a small hyperechogenic structure. This hyperechogenic structure is the embryo indicating it as an ectopic pregnancy. Now what should be this cystic lesion? This is actually the corpus luteal cyst. Corpus luteal cyst and ectopic pregnancy in most of the cases come in same adnexa. So let's see the video. Here you can see the uterus looks quite normal in transverse section and it is the right adnexa showing the cystic lesion and this cystic lesion shows embryo inside. Here is another cystic area that is the corpus luteal cyst. You can see the embryo shows a tiny cardiac pulsation. So this is the live ectopic pregnancy. So here is the embryo and you can see the cardiac pulsation indicating the live ectopic pregnancy. Now here is the magnified view and you can see the tiny embryo with internal movement that is the cardiac pulsation indicating it as a live ectopic pregnancy. So in summary, an irregular heterogeneous complex lesion with two internal irregular thick walled anechoic cystic areas is noted at the right adnexal region. Right ovary could not be separately visualized. One cystic area shows internal single live embryo of six past weeks size, indicating right adnexal live ectopic pregnancy. The other cystic area was corpus luteal cyst. Now the take home message. Two cystic areas seen in same adnexa of a patient with positive history of pregnancy and normal uterus, then one cystic area should be ectopic pregnancy and other one should be the corpus luteal cyst until proven otherwise. Color Doppler ultrasound may help you further. We have uploaded another case video of ectopic recently where you will find the color Doppler findings. So I'll put the link on the card above. You can check that. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.